It has been a night of incredible tragedy and violence in the city of Moncton tonight. A gunman armed heavily with two weapons has gone on a rampage. Three RCMP officers from the Kodiak Regional Police have been killed tonight. Two others are in hospital with wounds. Uh, Global Shelley Steves has been covering this story since it broke tonight, and she joins us now live via phone. Shelley, bring us the latest. Well, Ron, gunshots were first reported to between about 7.30 and 8 this evening in Moncton's North End. Residents in the North End reported seeing an armed gunman dressed in camouflage. He was reportedly carrying two high-powered guns, a knife strapped to his side, and bullets around his neck. Police responded to the scene where residents reported hearing gunshots. When we arrived in this, on the scene not long afterward, the neighborhood was under lockdown. Officers were directing traffic away from the area. At one point, a car full of what we believe to have been police officers told us to leave the area that people were dead. RCMP this evening are confirming that three officers are indeed dead, were killed by the shooter. Reports say two other officers were also taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Horizon Health has confirmed now that three people with gunshot wounds have been transported to the hospital. And the hospital is also under lockdown under Code Orange, which means basically numerous casualties. Panicked residents were fleeing the area north of Moncton, and we spoke to one woman who says she saw a police officer wounded on the ground. Shelley, unfortunately, we don't have that particular clip. Uh, can you give us a little bit more of a description of uh, what you saw there and what those people told you? Yes, absolutely. The woman said she, that she saw, she, she didn't see the gunman, but she saw two officers and one officer who was laying on the ground with another officer leaned over top of him. She said the officer on the ground did appear to have been shot and she believed that he was likely deceased. Now, RCMP tonight are still on the hunt for the gunman. They say they're looking for 24-year-old Justin Burke of Moncton. He is, of course, considered armed and very dangerous. Now, Ambulance New Brunswick has also confirmed another shooting tonight. They've picked up and transported one person to the hospital from Angie's Strip Club in Dieppe, which is a community close to Moncton. Now, we don't know at this point if this is in, related to any, in any way to the shooting earlier this evening, but eyewitnesses do report seeing armed officers storming the building earlier this evening. Now, it's really important to note that this is, this is an ongoing investigation. The gunman is still at large. RCMP are still looking for him. It's an extremely dangerous situation, and people throughout Moncton are being told to stay inside.